Hello everyone. Today I will talk about how to support the Rotary encoder in Vile. Rotary encoder just means this knob. Usually, one knob corresponds to three keys: uh, the left turn, right turn, and click. In my example here, on layer zero, when I click, it corresponds to muting the speaker. Left turn and right turn corresponds to volume control. Uh, in this video, I will assume you already know how to create VIO firmware without the knob support. If not, uh, please check uh, my other video and then come back here. So now I will assume the starting point uh, is a VIO source code where the whole s keyboard is supported uh, except this knob. Uh, okay, so in that case, you still need to modify these three files to add the knob support. And the third step is the most difficult, where you need to um, edit the keyboard layout uh, key map in order to add the, the extra two fake keys. Uh, suppose you don't do the third step the knob support would still work at the QMK level, which means uh, whenever you want to change the key, uh, key assignment for this knob uh, at whichever layer, you have to change the source code, change the VIO source code, uh, compile it fresh the firmware, which defeats the purpose of VIO. Okay, so I have a uh, full example here, which I added the support for the uh, the rebound rebound the keyboard. So you can see, uh, so for the config.h, uh, there's no 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 change uh, for the the knob support. For keymap.c, you have to define what the key knob means on different layers. Um, here you only need to define the left turn and the right turn because the click is automatically supported um, as a normal key press. So you can see here um, basically on different layers you need to say what left and right means. Volume up, volume down, brightness up, brightness down, and here I set them to be the, the mouse wheel um, motions. So in the rules.mk I mean, most of the other stuff are not relevant for the um, r the knob. What you need is to add encoder enable and encoder map enable. Okay, then you need to do the JSON. So this JSON file basically tells you um, how, where the keys are uh, and how they connect to the firmware. Okay, uh, it, it, it's tricky to edit this one directly. Uh, in order to generate this file, you will need to use uh, this website, the Keyboard Layout Editor, uh, which is the tricky part. Actually, the uh, VIO documentary is done very well. I can show you here. Um, you can essentially just follow, follow this document and uh, this is also three steps, and then the tricky part is kind of explained here, but uh, I I need to uh, um, figure out something myself to to get it to work. Also, in my case, uh, my keyboard, uh, the the knob left turn and right turn automatically works uh, as volume control for some reason, so I actually don't need to do the step one, which is also mentioned here. If you are working from an existing QMK firmware with working encoders, this step can likely be skipped. Okay, let's go back to uh, this uh, keyboard layer editor. So here I already have the end result. Um, let me show you what it looks like beforehand. So here, uh, let me just uh, tell you something general about this uh, editor. So there is a help here. It will tell you what kind of keyboard shortcut you can use. And you can also uh, 
so here the properties you can like change the key key properties and in this raw data uh, you can load uh, upload or download JSON files so here we will upload a JSON file which is my original uh, JSON file keyboard Let me just. Oh yeah, keyboard layout JSON. Uh, this is not completely the original one, but anyways. So um, let me also get rid of these two keys. These two keys actually doesn't exist in my original um, key maps. So you can see you can just delete them like this. And if you want to add key, you just add one here, and it might be in some random places. And uh, you can, j I'm I'm uh, clicking my right arrow right now, and you can just move it to some place. And if you wanna, so, so um, if you wanna associate, so in my case, this key three three is the, the knob. And I will need to add two keys to this guy. So here I just added one, just for one demonstration. Let me show you the correct result. So you need to add two here. And uh, for those uh, rotary encoders, what you you basically need to tell um, the JSON file that this these two corresponds to the encoder, and in order to do that, you just need to say uh, give it a name E here. So the E is in the center legend. You can see that that's when it's E, and here you also need to add a zero zero at the top legend. Uh, Uh, this one just means uh, this is the left turn. This zero zero and zero one just means this is the left turn and the right turn for this encoder. So uh, that's all you need to do for for the uh, encoder part. So you can just, uh, for example, just do e here at the center and do zero zero here. And add another key uh, next to it, uh, and uh, and say it's uh, uh, zero one. Okay, for the rotating, it's a little bit tricky. Uh, I mean, the tricky part is to how to align them. But uh, if you just want to rotate the shot, uh, you can do it here. Change the angle into zero, and then you can just uh, make it go down. Oh, where did it go? Yeah, you can either just use the keyboard shortcut, or you can just move it directly. Okay, so after you get this right, get these two right, uh, you go here, raw data, and then download the JSON. So it will export the JSON file. And what you need to do is uh, You will need to add this into the vial dot JSON and add them uh, as the content of key map. Okay, then after that you can uh, compile and hopefully everything works, and then you can flash it once, and it will work. And then you will get so in this key map they look like squares, but uh, in while they will automatically become two uh, circles with arrows. And then you can just modify them uh, and assign keys to them just like normal knobs. Okay, hope this is useful information. Uh, thanks for watching.